Hi everyone, this is Chris Newman from the Spreadsheet Guru, and I'm going to quickly walk you through the new Mortgage Tracker Spreadsheets. When you first open up the spreadsheet, you're going to land on the instructions. Uh, you can read through the five simple steps to get your spreadsheet up and running. There's also a bunch of helpful mortgage terminology and definitions that you can look through if, if you want to familiarize yourself with the terms used in some of these loan agreements. If you move on to the next tab, this is where you're going to input your loan information. So you're first going to want to put your interest rate. I'm just going to use a 3% interest rate for this example. Your loan amount, we can say $200,000. We can do the loan terms. Typically that's a 15 or 30 year mortgage. And then the start date. We'll do this month as our start date. Once you have those four inputs added to the spreadsheet, simply click the refresh load table. And it's just going to warn you that it's going to override any previous data you may have in the loan table. If you click yes, that will reset up your table and you can move on to the next tab. Now you have uh, a bunch of data. It might look scary. What you really want to focus on are these two columns right here. Uh, in column D is going to be your monthly payments. It's going to default to your minimum payment per month per the loan agreement. But if you make extra payments in a given month, you're going to want to override that number. So let's say in December of this year, we plan to make a large $5,000 payment. And we'll do that again in 2020. Also in column E, if you have a variable interest rate agreement, you'll want to modify your interest rate as that changes. I think most people stick with the static interest rate, so you probably won't have to change this column throughout the uh, time you're tracking your loan. Other than that, most of these columns are just doing calculations that are going to feed your dashboard. So we can move on to the dashboard. This is where you're probably going to spend most of your time. This will tell you a bunch of key facts about when your loan is going to be paid off, if you're paying it off early, how many months you have to go, what's the average payment you're making per month. Uh, it charts kind of your progress compared to what the original loan agreement was. And also it has this box in the upper right hand corner where you can perform scenario analysis. So if, if you want to increase your payment or you find that you can increase your payments each month, uh, you can enter that in. So you can see if I increase the payments $100 per month, I will save an additional $15,702 of interest over the term of the loan. That's quite a bit of money, so if I can swing just that extra $100 a month, I might want to look into doing that. Uh, this bottom box right here is going to be very key in understanding what you're paying the bank on top of what they've lent. So in the agreement for the loan interest, you'd be paying $103,000 of interest over the course of this particular loan. Uh, based on your payments, remember we put those two $5,000 payments in there, that reduced the interest quite a bit down to $93,000. So uh, this is a really neat dashboard. It's really helped me a lot tracking my own mortgage, and hopefully it can help you track yours as well.